about uh, we talked about pace plans last week, and we talked about bugging in versus bugging out. So this week, what I want to talk about is bags. Okay, um, and you know I'm probably going to punch another sacred cow in the industry right in the mouth here. Uh, which I'm not condoning violence on animals. I'm just saying it's there's sacred cows out here that everybody has to have. Uh, I'm probably going to punch one in the mouth here real quick. Um, this is actually coffee today, by the way. I ran out of the good stuff. Um, so, with that said, let's let's take a minute and look at what these bags are what the purpose of these bags is and that that purpose is you're packing things to provide for your needs um, your needs are core temperature control and within core temperature control you have basically fire basically shelter uh, your clothing choices maybe some additional clothing uh, that's your core temperature control next number two hydration all right a way to drink water to procure water to disinfect water you know you have to stay hydrated no matter what the situation is that's a biological need just like core temperature control is a biological need uh, your third biological need is to consume calories you need those calories for energy especially if you're ex you're you know under a lot of stress and putting forth a lot of physical exertion you need calories to burn so that's another thing that you're providing for with that bag um, and the contents of the bag, not just the bag. Don't don't try to do it with just an empty bag. Uh, so those are kind of your your biological needs. On top of that, you also have rest, uh, which you know a lot of your shelter and and clothing items. Sleeping by a warm fire, potentially depending on the situation, maybe maybe part of that. But rest is in there as well. Um, then you know possibly before any of those, depending on the type of injury or maybe after those uh, again depending on the injury is first aid you've got first aid for life threats that would be first if that's what you have that's more important than everything else because you'll you'll bleed out way quicker than you'll die of hypothermia uh, i'm sorry i'm turning off the twitch stream here because it's delayed and it's distracting me uh it's all is working good if it doesn't work good let me know in the chat uh but anyway so you know your biological needs again core temperature control your hydration your calorie consumption your rest then we're talking about first aid right if you've got a life-threatening injury that's the first thing if it's not life-threatening it could probably wait till like fourth or fifth uh, but it is something that you're packing for in that bag is my point uh, and then navigation um, if you're living out of a bag it stands to reason that you're not at your house uh, you could be at work you could be at the mall you could be here you could be there doesn't matter where you're at, you need a way to navigate so that you can get from where you want to go or to get from where you are to where you want to go as efficiently as in effect and as effectively as possible without getting lost. But with that said, you know, depending on your mode of transportation, you may have different means of navigation. You know, I may be use, you may be using a GPS in your car uh, and you should use that if you want you know it's it's a way it's the way you get from work you know from work to school to to home today so why not continue to use that as long as it's available if it's not available though you need to have those those kind of uh low tech no tech backups like map and compass you know if you're on foot using a gps that requires batteries you know that you know why just use the map and compass but I'm not telling you how to do your business you know you're the one that's going to execute your plan not me i'm going to execute my plan uh, but anyway, uh, so navigation is something you may have some things packed in there for signal uh, because it could be an emergency that you're trying to get away from and you don't care, you know, that you just want to get anyone's attention, you know, so you may pack some sort of signaling thing. It may be a way to signal people within your community uh, because you're doing some sort of link up down the road, you know, going from and people have different lives, but they may join together, band together uh, in an emergency. You may need a way to communicate and signal. So maybe you're packing that. Uh, you're going to pack tools to facilitate all of this. You know, it could be as simple as a belt knife, a multi-tool folding saw, you know, whatever, what have you. Whatever you have that facilitates all those other needs that we listed before. Um, and then, of course, personal protection. You know, it doesn't matter what you have if you can't protect it. And you need to be able to protect yourself, especially 
in an emergency. And there are a number of scenarios I can think of where personal protection will be an ongoing thing. Uh, I list it last, but that doesn't mean it's the least important. It's actually an ongoing thing throughout all the other things. You know, while you're getting a fire, you need to have some sort of security if you're in that type of environment. Uh, all the way down to rest. You can't just all go to sleep. You need to have some sort of plan for that. But anyway, those are things that you're packing, all right? Uh, because those are what your needs are. So what I want you to do is just, just take a moment to convince yourself that everything you've ever packed in a bag, be it a camping trip, be it your bug out bag, your get out of Dodge kit, your, your get home bag, your EDC, your, even if you're just going on a backpacking trip or you're a day hiker running up and down the Appalachian Trail following blazes, everything that you've ever packed has been to meet those needs. These are things I'm going to need in order to be out away from my home successfully. Right? So take a minute to convince yourself that is what we're packing in the bags. Okay, so with that, let's apply some critical thinking to this. And actually before we do that, let's take a look at all the different bags within this industry okay because you know i'm not a product of this industry this is this my experience comes from actually living out of a backpack you know for years in the military all over the world uh, so let's look at all the different bags you have an edc which is your everyday carry bag all right that is stuff that you carry every day in the event of emergency you want to have that with you that's your edc okay then you have a ghb which is a get home bag, all right? So what that's designed for is you're at the office, you know, you're at work or you're in your car and this bag has stuff in it that just gets you from that point back home, okay? So that's your GHB. So that's your second bag or, or second kit, if you will. Uh, then you have kind of a, it's called different things, but you have a bug out bag, which is also known as a go bag, which is also sometimes referred to as a good kit, a get out of dodge kit, all right? And what this is designed for is rapid evacuation, 72 hours to get from one point to the other, okay? And then you have my least favorite, which is the inch bag concept, the I'm never coming home bag, the I'm putting what I need to live the rest of my life on my back and walking away from society forever. Okay, so let's think about that. So we've got the, the EDC, we've got the GHB, we've got the the Bob Good Go the Bob Good Go bag is kind of the same thing. So we'll call it three different bags, and, and then the inch bag. That's our fourth bag. Okay, now let's apply some critical thinking to that. If we can all agree that every bag we ever pack is providing for the same needs. I have several questions here. I've got I've got questions, so I'll, I'll offer them to you, and you can put in the chat what you think. How do you know which bag to take that day? Because if you don't know if you're never coming home or if you're just trying to get home, you don't know where you're going to be when the incident happens. You don't know, you know, what you're going to need, how long it's going to be. You know, I guess I guess the the second question is is how do you know which one is appropriate for something that hasn't even happened yet we have multiple plans for different scenarios but we have you don't have to have multiple bags for multiple scenarios you need one bag to provide for all of your needs they don't have to be packed differently uh, that's just my thinking uh, i guess the most important question to that is is if you do have a multiple bag system what needs are provided for in one bag that aren't provided for in another bag? So in your EDC or in your GHB, what needs are you providing for in there that you're not also providing for in your bug out bag? Your needs are the same, so why would the packing list be different? I guess that's what I don't understand. Uh, so that's why I don't really buy off on that. Um, if it doesn't fall under core temperature control, which is your fire shelter clothing, if it doesn't have anything to do with hydration, if it doesn't have anything to do with calorie consumption, if it's not navigation, it's not first aid, it's not signal, 
it's not tools to facilitate any of that and it's not personal protection, then what the heck is it? What did you put in that bag that's not already in this bag? And rather than make it a crapshoot that morning of what bag you grab or what bag you still wear because you don't know where you're going to be and what bag you're going to need until something happens, why not just simplify it and just carry the one bag. If it's providing, if it's packed to provide for your needs, it's packed to provide for your needs, whether you're trying to get home, whether you're trying to leave home to go to your alternate bug in, lo uh, alternate bug in location, it, it doesn't matter. It's the same needs. And that really takes away a lot of the guesswork in my opinion. Um, so why not carry that one bag every day? And that becomes, you can call it your EDC if you want, my go bag is EDC. I carry it every day. Uh, when you get in the car or you walk in the office, when you get in the car, throw it in the car with you. When you go to the office, take it into the office with you. So that way, no matter where something happens, that bag is right next to you. It's like your wallet. It's like your purse, if you will. Uh, it's your man purse or, or your woman purse. Uh, I'm not judging. You do whatever you want. Uh, so I guess with the office thing though, when we get down into the personal protection, then of course you got to obey local laws. You got to make sure you're not transporting, you know, your personal protection firearms into a place where you're not allowed. So I understand that maybe that's in your car, but the rest of your, your, you know, immediate needs that you can have in the office in the bag, you have that in the bag. So if something happens, active shooter, you need to get out get to your car or your way to get to the car is blocked, you know, then you grab that bag. At least you have, some of your stuff with you and chances are you know that's 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 a pretty isolated scenario but you know if you can't take it into the office have it locked in your car so that as soon as you get back to the car you can grab that and you have your personal protection options um, so if you need to bug out or you need to get out of dodge or whatever you want to call it uh, your bag is already with you regardless of what the situation was that forced you to do that so why not just have the one bag, I guess. Um, but anyway, and then as far as inch bags, inch bags are complete nonsense, all right? And there's a number of reasons that they're complete nonsense, all right? Not the least of which being that if you think you're actually going to pack everything you need to go hack out a life and a new cabin somewhere along your route with the stuff that's on your back, you're kidding yourself. Uh, it's just not realistic. Uh, there's other ways to do that, uh, but that's a subject for another day. So anyway, that's kind of my take on bags and that's really what I wanted to talk to you guys about. 